Hey folks, welcome back to another video of Trailhead Explanation. Here in this video, we are going to cover up a unit three of Superbad user authentication. This is the third and the last video of this Superbad series. We have covered the previous two units. You can check out the solution on our channel. So here uh, in this unit, we are simply going to troubleshoot uh, problems uh, in the form of challenges based on the concepts which we covered in our first two units, which are single sign-on, uh, setting up multi-factor authentication for a user and a Salesforce Authenticator app. So we are going to cover up these uh, concepts in our challenges by troubleshooting them, right? Now scroll down, but before we start up with our first challenge, Make sure you sign up for this developer free edition or which is specifically designed for this trailhead unit. And you have to also connect that particular org to this trailhead challenge. You can follow these steps if there is any confusion. Now scroll down to our very first challenge, which is here we have a Sally Wu, a new user for this uh, challenge. Now for this uh, Sally Wu user, we have to set up multi-factor authentication. So in order to uh, do that, we have to uh, make sure that we have username and password for this particular user in hand. So in order to do that, uh, do that we have to launch our trailer playground and in global search, just type the name Sally Wu and it will filter out uh, user Sally for you. Click on this user and you will be redirected to the detail page of this user. Now, the first thing you have to do, uh, which I've already done over here in order to save time. So clicking on edit, you have to first of all, change the email address for this uh, by your email. Then it will send a verification uh, email on your mail. Just verify that you are the user who uh, want to change this email address. After which, once that is done, may, uh, you have to reset the password. Clicking on this, you can follow the steps to change the password. Now, the next thing we have to do is we have to log in into uh, this uh, org by these credentials of, uh, of Sally Wu. So what I'm going to do is I will copy this username of Sally Wu and log out from this org, which is admin org. Right now I'm logged in as admin. Just log out from here and try to log in again for this one. So paste the username here and type the password, which we just, uh, I have already uh, done that thing before. So I'm going to enter the password over here. Click on login. Now it is asking, it will ask for a two word phrase over here, right? So in order to uh, uh, do that, you have to download Salesforce Authenticator app from Google Play Store or App Store on your mobile. So once that is downloaded, open that Authenticator app. Now there you will find a button, add account. Click on that button on your mobile, add, add an account. And it will pop up two word phrase, which is uh, the phrase which we have to type over here. So for me, it is solid chill. So I'm going to type it over here. Then click on connect. It will send you a notification on your mobile. So I got this and on your mobile, just click on connect button. So uh, there you go. This has uh, set up our multi-factor authentication for this particular user, which is Sally Wu. We have logged in into the org. Now, uh, what we have to do is this was our first challenge. Now scroll down and let's check our challenge because we have to, uh, you know, just set up the authenticator app. So click on check challenge. Hopefully this should pass. There you go. This challenge is done. Now uh, we have to uh, troubleshoot single sign-on. So they have already done single sign-on thing for user, uh, what is this user? Let me just check. Yeah, for Ma Malcolm Doyer, they have set the uh, single sign-on, but there was some error in the process that they have followed. There was some error and uh, when they try to log in, after generating SAML response, 
they get this error. So we have to identify the error or the uh, issue that was there when they try to uh, set up single sign-on. So for that, uh, what we will do is we have to go to single sign-on setting. So first of all, I'm going to close this because right now I'm logged in as uh, this Sally Wu user. So I'm going to close other tabs. Now, again, launch your Trailhead Playground uh, because we have to log in as system admin. Now, what I'll do is I will go to a uh, single sign-on setting in order to check what they have done over there, which is causing this error. So if you will uh, look over here, you can see that they are using Federation ID for a uh, single sign-on, right? So we have to check all these details if that is correct when they set up this single sign-on. So go to quick find and write single uh, sign-on over here. So click on the single sign-on settings. Now here they have already done this uh, single sign-on setting and we have to click on this setting and check what is the issue that they have done wrong. And okay, so if you will check over here that the SAML uh, identity type over here, they have taken it as username, but in our challenge, it is mentioned, it has to be Federation ID. So we will go back over here and change this to this option, right? Now click on save. Now we are going to test it if everything is working fine. So again, click on this link. Now here we have to uh, go to generate a SAML response. So the error which they were getting uh, is when they try to generate a SAML response. This is when they are getting this error. So we have made one change and hopefully we should not get this error and we should be able to uh, successfully log in into the org. So I'm going to click on generate SAML response. Now we have to configure it. So for SAML version, click uh, select 2.0. For Federation ID, what we have to do is we have to go back to our org and in global search, just type the username for which we are setting the uh, single sign on, which is Malcolm. So I'm going to copy this name and paste it over here so that it can filter out and click on this user. It will lead you to the detail page of this user. Scroll down and copy the Federation ID. This is the user which we for which they are setting the single sign on. So paste this user uh, federation ID over here. Then for issuer, just copy it from this table. Uh, issuer is this, copy this and paste it over here in the text area. Then we, uh, we have to uh, get the recipient URL. So go to uh, this single sign on setting again, click on the setting and you will find the recipient url which is equivalent to login url so scrolling down you will go to endpoint section copy this login url and go back here and paste it in the recipient url text area now for entity id go back again to your settings and copy this entity id from here paste it first remove this and then paste this Rest, we do not have to change anything. Just click on this button, request SAML response. Now uh, click on this login button. If everything worked fine and we uh, have figured out what, what was the issue, we should be able to log in successfully. There you go. We have uh, logged in successfully and we were not, uh, we were not seeing any error. Right, so go back to your challenge, scroll down and click on check challenge. So hopefully this should be also uh, figured out and we should, yeah, we, uh, we have completed this challenge as well. Now the last uh, challenge we have is stolen phone. Now there was uh, this user again, Sally Wu, for which we have set up multi-factor authentication in our first challenge. Now this person has lost her uh, phone so we have to remove the access of a multi-factor authentication from this person so that the third person who has taken her phone uh, should not be able to access the org 
of this person and uh, you know have access of confidential data so in order to do that we have to remove the uh, mfa access of this user so for that what we have to do is just go to uh, your org again first we have to just log out just close all the other tabs and launch your trailhead playground again because we have to log in as a system admin in order to configure the settings again go to global search and type salivu i'll select this here going to the detail page of salivu we have to disconnect our uh, permission of salesforce authenticator app so over here scrolling down you will find a salesforce authenticator setting click on this disconnect button now this uh, salesforce authenticator app uh, uh, setting has been disconnected but for this user there is one more thing we have to set so until her phone comes up and she uh, tries to set up again this multi factor authentication on her mobile we have to give her some temporary uh, code to to make her able that she can log in into her org so for that we have to generate a temporary code for her verification code which should be available only for 8 hours right so what i'm going to do is i will go back to the sally who user and if you scroll down a little you will find an option over here temporary verification code we have to click on this generate button now uh, click on this register and i have got one verification code on my email address for this user so i will go back to my email and copy this code from here go back to this and paste this in the verification code text area click on verify now here this uh, we got a screen in order to set up multi factor authentication now this screen is basically for the admin user to set up a, a mfa for itself right so what we are going to do we are again going to uh, set up a salesforce authenticator app so for that again open your app on your mobile click on add an account now by this time this is this has been done multiple times you must have been uh, aware of this process so click uh, the two word phrase for me was pink side so click on connect now this is going to send me a notification on my mobile phone i'll click on connect button on my mobile now this will approve and we will be able to uh, we have set up this uh, mfa for our admin user we still need to uh, we still need to uh, set the ver temporary verification code for sally now again this is asking for generate a temporary verification code now it has sent a request on our mobile in order to generate a temporary verification code yes we want to generate it and on your mobile just click on approve button now this will create a verification temporary verification code so let's just wait for it to load yeah but uh, before that we have to specify the time period for which this temporary code should be available after which it will be expired so based on our challenge it was 8 hours so i'm going to uh, i have select all it is by default selected 8 hours just click on generate code now this code is there right this is for this particular user which this username is for sally so i'm going to just copy this and click on done so we have generated temporary uh, verification code uh, for user sally right now what we have to do is if you want you can test this also how this thing work so close the other tabs or just go to this tab uh, just log out from here and try again to log in as sally so if i'll just uh, provide the username and password over here click on login now it is going to ask us the verification code which we just set so paste this verification code which i copied it uh, from the previous screen click on verify and you will be able to log in into this as a sally user into your org so there you go you have logged in as sally now if you go back to your challenge scroll down to the bottom click on check challenge you should be able to complete this challenge as well as this unit
let's just wait. There you go, you have completed this unit as well as this uh, super bad series. See you all in the next video. Till then, take care, goodbye, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you.